Hey everybody, welcome to Bevner Video Podcast. This is episode 47 for Friday the 13th in May 2011. I'm your host, Jason Coleman, and this episode is what we call in the business a super show. Why is it a super show? Well, I'm hopped up on Rockstar Energy, which is good, but I don't think it really tastes that great. But we're trying two drinks, and we're trying two snacks today, and there are, there, some of this stuff is highly anticipated, stuff I've been wanting to try for the longest, and I'm proud to have them on the show today and for you to check out. What exactly are we doing today? Yes, we're doing a lot. Let's see what it is. We're trying the Back by Popular Dumand Pitch Black Mountain Dew, something that uh, came out a long time ago that I don't think I had the privilege of trying, but I'm going to try it today. Something that was recommended to me ages ago by longtime viewer Adam. This is Virgil's root beer, but not just any old root beer. This is Bavarian Nutmeg Special Edition root beer. Stoked about that. We're trying a couple of new cookies, and then, uh, we're gonna have an unveiling of these later, and it's gonna be kind of funny. They're the Chips Ahoy Chewy Gooey. We have Choco Fudge and Mega Fudge. Can't wait to try those. And, like you saw in the preview earlier this week, I got Caffey Mallows, which are coffee marshmallows. And they're caffeinated and they're coffee flavored. Cannot wait to try these either. I've been anticipating these for over a week now. And with all the extras, I'm going to make a couple of you Bev Nerdians at home very, very lucky because you know, you'll be able to try these, these exact ones I'm holding in my hands. So, I want to do some quick plugs. If you're not already, be a fan of BevNerd on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash BevNerd. Follow me on Twitter. That's at BevNerd. And visit the website, BevNerd.com. Subscribe to us on iTunes. Leave reviews, blah, blah, blah. Any way that you're watching this, leave a thumbs up, five-star rating, or a review to spread the word about the BevNerd. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> let's try something right now. All right, folks, here we are with Chips Ahoy Chewy Gooey Cookies. Um, they're fudge-filled soft cookies. Uh, this is Choco Fudge, which is like a chocolate chip, and a Mega Fudge, which is your double chocolate chip with other things. All right, let's try these out. Uh, uh, my awesome wife, Amanda, surprised me with these just the other day. By the other day, I mean two days ago. Let's check them out. Oh, my God. Okay, we have, we have three left. Um, so uh, I will go ahead and state on the record that these are gosh darn good. Um, but we'll take a closer look at those in just a second. But also we have the Mega Fudge, which has not been opened, which is the only reason why this is a full bag or package. Um, I like the resealable. Those actually work out pretty well. Um, the thing I don't like about normal packaging, when you open up the side, you're kind of like left out to dry, and your cookies go dry too. But um, we'll look at these right now. All right, let's get a closer zoomed-in view of these. And here's a really big knife for no particular reason. Just to be dumb. All right, here is the chocolate chip cookie. You can definitely see the line of fudge in the middle. And yay. All right, here we are with the mega fudge. Uh, a little bit harder to see the fudge because it's the same color as the fudge cookie themselves. But you can also see the white parts are white chocolate bits. Um, there may be regular chocolate chips in there too, but um, maybe not. Let's try them. All right, now it's time to try the Chips Ahoy Chewy Gooey Cookies. Um, we're gonna try first with the Choco Fudge, which is like an, ex an endangered species of cookies in this house after just two days. And I will admit, I ate 90% of them. I really have a soft spot for that fudge that you would find like in this cookie, those, um, those little elf cookies that have the fudge in between. Pretty much, I'm a sucker for fudge and cookies. Um, the chocolate chip cookie is soft, chewy, but then you hit that fudge, man, and it really just brings it all together. Let's try mega fudge. Now, what I need now is a chug log of Mayfield milk, and I'm in heaven. Mmm. That's like three different chocolates all rolled into one sweet, sweet package. I mean, he's not a huge fan of soft cookies, but with that middle, there's like, it just goes together so well. It's like smooth and it's decadent. 
Oh my. Dude, I don't know if these are limited time or they're going to be always and forever. If you see these at your local food world or food markets, pick these up. These are good. No doubt about it. Uh. Let's try maybe the second best thing to milk and cookies and let's have cookies and pitch black Mountain Dew. Thirsty yet? I am. Here we are with the limited edition, back from the past, by popular demand, Mountain Dew Pitch Black with a blast of black grape. Um, the Pitch Black flavor originally came out in the year 2004, seven years ago, and it was followed up by a Pitch Black 2 in 2005, which was, um, I believe, a sour grape, which I, I wasn't fortunate enough to try either one of those. However, it's not really black. If you can see this at home, it's actually what Marvel on the Impulse Buy calls gothic purple. And I'll just coin that term as well because it's really a deep purple. Oh. You definitely get the grape, duh. But you also get that citrus that you associate with Mountain Dew. So that's nice as well. Um, really, really interested to try this next. Alright, now it's time to try Pitch Black Mountain Dew. Mmm. That's pretty tasty. It's not super duper sweet, but you definitely, t it's like you get like maybe 50% of your classic um, fuel of just regular old Mountain Dew, but it's got a supercharged kick of the grape. Why is it this not a permanent flavor? It tastes like gummy bears. Oh, it's like bouncing here and there and everywhere. <laughs> oh, wow. I used to love gummy bears cartoons. Anyways, that blast of black grape is totally not that, it doesn't taste like that over the top like Fanta grape, which I really don't care for, but it's also not super strong like, uh, like everyone's favorite around here, Grapeco, which is very good. It's light and refreshing. But it really, yeah, it tastes like it tastes like gummy gummy candy, like 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 grape gummy bears. Um, the carbonation is good; it's not too much. It could use a little bit more, but that's just me. That's very nice. I'm glad they brought this back. And I would have been uh, really interested in trying the sour version, even though I don't really like sour stuff so much. But I could see why this would be released in a sour flavor because it's it's got that sweetness. But like like a, like a neon sour worm, I think it would go good with this flavor. Hmm, 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 hmm. Um, all in all, um, this is only gonna be out for I think uh, eight weeks. That's roughly two months. So um, you want to check this out. You want to stockpile it if you like it. If you buy it in cans, they they tend to last a lot longer as far as their expiration date is concerned. So if you want to keep them for a while, stockpile in cans, not bottles. But highly recommend it. This is good. Try it. All right. Up next at the halfway point. We've got Cafe Mallows made by Hip Cafix. Their website is www.caffex.com. What I like about this, you have your three variety packs, the Java, the coffee, and the mocha. Uh, I like the packaging it comes in. It's clean. It's crisp. I believe that it would make a good gift or like a, like a prize, something in a gift basket, what have you. But it comes in packs of three. Um, we're going to open up the Java first. And what I like about this, it's already easy to tear open. You, that took like no effort at all. Pulling one of these out and just looking at it and examining it, you think this looks like some sort of, oh my gosh, that smells amazing. That's a really deep coffee smell, maybe like espresso, uh, but this looks like a brownie or even a piece of fudge, but eh, this is a marshmallow. Holy cow. Okay, we got the coffee mallow, which I opened, we had to do another take. See, it's got that same coffee smell, but it also has like a creamy smell as well. And it's not as powerful as the Java, which we all know espresso is a lot more powerful than just regular coffee. Now let's check out the Mocha Mallow and take it out. And you know, I don't know if you could finish these in one or two bites. It might be something you want to savor. Oh, that's a really dark. You can definitely smell the chocolate. Uh, you definitely smell the coffee. And it's like maybe like a dark roast smell too. These are highly interesting and my interest has been piqued. Now it's time to try Caffey Mallows. Um, let's start off with the coffee. 
Um, let's go over the ingredients for place. Uh, sugar, corn syrup, water, coffee concentrate, beef gelatin, cornstarch, caramel, vanilla, cinnamon, and salt. Um, nothing artificial about that. Got to go with that. Um, kosher status says beef gelatin, kosher certified. All of the ingredients are kosher. Kosher certifiable. Okay, black. Anyways, this comes from Montval or Montvale, New Jersey. I'm gonna take a small bite because I'm gonna think this is gonna be pretty strong. Mmm. 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 That tastes pretty darn good. Um, the texture of this is not what I expected at all. It's spongy, of course, like a marshmallow, but it's got a bite to it. Kind of like a thick, thick piece of angel food cake. It's not like a marshmallow that I've ever had before, like you would find at the store, like your whatever they are. Um, dude, that's good. Mm, hey, it's not intended for children or teens under 14. So, um, I have nothing to worry about, right? Okay, that was good. That, that The coffee was there. It was like a plain coffee. It was sweet. It was creamy. Oh, huh. That was really, that was really amazing. You gotta try this. This smells, this is great. Alright, now it's time to try the red Java. Uh, pretty much, instead of coffee concentrate, it's espresso concentrate. That's good. Mmm, I can definitely smell it's a lot stronger in the scent. Mmm, you definitely want to take small bites. You really want to savor the flavor in it. Mmm. Um, this one definitely tastes like the coffee before, but it doesn't have like the, like it doesn't it doesn't have that cream or sugar. But however, I don't know what I'm talking about. But let me tell you that this one's a little bit stronger in the coffee taste. This is good. I'm already hopped up because I've had like Mountain Dew and and a Rockstar and this. E each one of these are like a double boost of espresso. So maybe this is like a double shot of of espresso. Oh man, that flavor is really good and that texture. You don't want to make this face. It's real life. Oh my gosh, time to try another one. Okay, we got the mocha, which uh, blah blah blah. Oh, it has coca nibs in it and cocoa. So, it's pretty much got the same uh, the same things as the other ones do. Let's try it. Mmm. Oh my gosh. You got, if you can get this at home. There's a now we've got a really close look right in the middle of this uh, of the mocha mallow. There is actual bits of chocolate, like like some sort of chocolate syrup, melted chocolate, some sort of morsel or something. I tasted that halfway through. Oh my gosh, it was great. All right. Now the texture on this one is very very much different than the last two. It doesn't have that thick sponge cake. It's really seriously like a homemade brownie, except this is a marshmallow. That's insane. This one is off the charts. Good. You get that coffee, you get that sweetness, you get that cream taste, but it's got the chocolate, it's got the cocoa. It's fantastic. Oh my gosh. These, I, I, not that I had low expectations at all about these. If I had high expectations for these, it really went through the roof. These are delicious, and I'm, I'm, I'm being as real life as I can. These are good. And I'm proud to make two of you at home this week winners of Caffey Mallows. And here's what you need to do. I'm going to be giving one box like this to a male Bevnerdian and a second box of these to a female Bevnerdian and really just get everybody all happy, happy, happy and not sexist at all. Here's what you need to do. All right, um, it's a two-parter, so pay attention. What you need to do is you're gonna see this video on Facebook, the, the link of it on the Bevnerd wall. Here's what you do. You hit that little button that says share share it. Type whatever you want to about it. Hey buddies, check this out. But hit share, share it to your friends, and leave a comment saying, hey, I shared it. Or something like that. That's all you gotta do, and I'll pick out two winners sometime, very soon. This. Thank you so much to Hip Catholics for sending me this. A++, five stars. You gotta get this. Alright, the main event drink of the evening is something I've been looking forward to for months, honestly. It is Virgil's Special Edition Bavarian Nutmeg Root Beer, imported and microbrewed in Bavaria. Got this from Whole Foods. Super stoked to see it. 
If you look back exactly 20 episodes ago, episode 27, I tried the regular root beer, and boy, um, it was my favorite root beer I've ever had in my life. Got to be honest with you, all the flavors were there and awesome, all those herbals. And like every sip of the regular root beer, it, it, it gave way to different flavors every time. So let's take a look at this next. All right, this bottle is the most serious business bottle I've had on the show, so bear with me. Um, you're going to want to delicately, delicately take the paper off. I believe with this kind of top, you need to make it go... Okay. Whoa! <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that was cool enough. Oh, my God. That carbonation looks nice already. Let's just smell this. I, I'm so excited. Oh, man. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. That smell was different. You definitely smell um, awesome, awesome smelling delicious root beer. You also get that nutmeg. It's there. It's like, just like the, aroma, like the, the, the flavors of the Virgil's root beer before, it's like every few sniffs or so, the smell changes and you get different hints of different flavors every time. I cannot wait to try this. Let's do it right now. Now it's time to try Virgil's Bavarian Special Root Beer. This award-winning root beer is brewed with all natural ingredients. The well water used in the Special Edition Root Beer comes from the Bohemian Forest region of Bavaria, one of the purest sources in the world for water. A hearty, full body brew bottled in Virgil's original spring top pop stopper like this Bavarian Nutmeg is dedicated to the root beer purist. All natural ingredients are anise, uh, honey, licorice, vanilla, cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, wintergreen, cassia oil, sweet birch, and molasses. No preservatives. No artificial flavors. Other ingredients include carbonated water, unbleached cane sugar, natural caramel color, and all natural flavors, which was the ones I just talked about. And before I say this, this has probably been one of the most delicious episodes of Bad Nerd ever. Seriously, everything on this episode is good, and I would buy these all up, honestly. So, I hope that this is the perfect drink to take us home, or I'll be sad and cry. <laughs> My tears make me strong. Mm. This, this is nice. The carbonation is perfect. It's very fizzy, but it doesn't burn. Mmm, every flavor is so different. You really taste all those sweet bits. You definitely taste the nutmeg. That's what this is known for. But the, the, the sweetness of this is delicious. All those flavors, I mean, it's like one taste I get molasses. Another one I get like, I get that honey. And I get a little tint, a little, little, little tint of the licorice that's in here. And whenever I drink one of these, I feel like, excuse my French, a manly badass. Because this is an awesome bottle that you just feel proud of drinking. And, and you can also save it and um, put the top back on it. This is a bottle you want to keep on your shelves, too, when you're done. Mmm. Mmm. Especially when you do that, you, you, you have the root beer in your mouth. That's what she said. But then you, then you breathe in, and you oxygenate all these flavors, and you bring it up into your nasal cavity, and it just goes pop, 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 pop. Flavors in your face. It's like Ultimate Warrior of Drinks. This is really good. Mmm. Dude. And it's hardly very... It, it, it's, it's only comp competing against itself and the best root beers I've had. So, if you want to check these out, go to your Whole Foods Market. Uh, you might see it at a, just any specialty store like that. You might find Virgil's. You might find one of these bad boys hanging out. Oh, I need to lay down after this episode of Bad Nerd. Anyways, have a great weekend.